Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangi. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Uh, we are a family of four. We live in South Central Kentucky and we are a homesteading, work from home, homeschooling family. And yeah, sometimes I share what I buy from the store. We are sharing also what we produce on our homestead. We're also recovering our home after our basement collapse last year. We're still in that process. So if you like home renovation type stuff, cooking videos, sometimes cleaning videos, sometimes canning videos, all of those kinds of things, then we invite you to hit the subscribe button and hang out with us because we try to have fun here. We also try to be informative and um, all the while we try to be uplifting and encouraging. So anyway, let me show you what I got today. Not only did I get groceries, but I also got some household items, um, some things that we have been needing and I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to it. So I went to four different places. I went to Meyer, Aldi, I stopped at an IGA because Aldi was out of some stuff and I also went to Dollar General. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so here's the spread and we'll start down here with the Aldi stuff. I spent uh, $54 and some change. It was probably closer to $55. Um, I was so excited to see they finally had this back in stock. They have not had this for probably I don't know. I think it's probably been a year or more. Um, but so I went ahead and grabbed two bags. It's six pounds of the pure cane sugar. It was less than five dollars. It was like four forty-five or something like that. So so happy to see that. And these will of course go down into our um, storage. I got one bag of jalapenos. My jalapeno plants are hanging on for dear life. The birds really did a number on them and this heat is really doing a number on them. So hopefully we'll have lots of jalapenos to be canning later. But for right now, I got that. Um, got some more black tea bags. Back here, we have two cans of cream of chicken, two cans of cream of mushroom, six cans of pasta rings and meatballs. Can't produce this on the homestead and it's just Jack likes having it for a quick run out the door lunch. Um, I got two, or sorry, we got three cans of green beans. My green beans look really good and I'm hoping that I will be canning a year's worth of green beans. Time will tell. Okay, so back here, I got this box of 100 pop ice popsicles. I've just been craving them lately. It's like so, so hot. And I thought, man, these would be so perfect on this hot summer day. Okay, I got two bags of shredded hash browns. I got a package of flour tortillas, two bags of frozen corn. I got a bag of the sunflower chopped salad kit. These have been a lifesaver. So delicious, so full of good for you stuff and so super quick. It's like the quickest side ever. I love it. Um, I got a bag of some coleslaw. Yes, you can make this yourself. My uh, cabbage is not ready, but um, again, just knowing what we have ahead the, in the week, and I wanted to be able to whip together a coleslaw really quick. Okay, uh, we have some full fat sour cream. I got two blocks of Monterey Jack cheese, two blocks of cream cheese. These are actually going to go in the freezer. I still have a couple that I bought um, like a week or so ago that we're gonna use up, but I want to start building up a supply in the freezer because they cook up really well after they've been frozen. Okay, anyway, um, I got some deli cheese. I also got these um, tomatoes. These are delicious, and of course our tomatoes are looking great, but they are nowhere near ripe. So got that. We got some French vanilla coffee creamer some whole milk, some bagels, and some white bread. Um, just because I know that I'm not gonna have time to bake some this week, so I just bought it. Okay, so that is everything I got at Aldi. Now the things that they were out of that I stopped at IGA to get were tortilla chips. Um, Aldi does not usually carry green chilies, but the next time I go to uh, Walmart, I plan on buying a lot. Like, I was thinking like 10 uh, of these, because I do love having these on hand. 
Um, so I did get three. They were $1.79 a piece, which is crazy expensive. But like I said, I just wanted to have some for the pantry. And then also I got a small jar of salsa because the first thing that I'm going to be canning is our year supply of salsa. So hopefully by the time we get through this, we'll be canning. Maybe not. We'll see. All right. So that is everything I got at IGA. And this was like $10 and some change. Okay. So back here is Dollar General and it is Saturday. And usually they have a um, spend 25, save five. So I did that. So I was able to take $5 off. I also, um, the Dawn was on sale two for $6. So it took 50 cents per bottle off. I had a, a digital coupon, $2 off of the gain. Um, this downy spray was not on sale. I think it was like $4. Um, this heavy duty shower liner, also not on sale, but very much needed. It was $8.15. I had a $4 off digital coupon on the paper towels. And I had a $3 off digital coupon for this big package of Charmin. So all of this together was $50 and some change. Okay, so then last but not least, Meyer. So my original, um, my original weekly meal plan that I made before I left the house was for chicken tenderloin, but um, couldn't find it. Um, it's just chicken is hard to find these days. So when I saw this, it was on sale for $2.99. It was on sale for $2.99 a pound. Um, I thought this would be great. I'll just cut this into chops and we'll do boneless pork chops this week instead. So uh, this po pork loin was $11.35. They had their Southern peaches on sale for, I think they were 69 cents a pound. So I got several of these. Um, because our Bible school, um, the theme this year is in the pit and the Bible school director asked me, he said, if you get any, uh, stone fruits, save the pit because we have an activity we're going to do with them. So I just bought several of those. They had their strawberries on sale for 99 cents a quart. I got four of them back here. I bought five boxes of sure gel because we're going to make something with that and the strawberries. Um, I needed some more vegetable food. I'm out of the trifecta from in my gardener. And so I just grabbed that. It was like $7 and some change. Actually it was like $6 and change. So it was close to $7. Okay. And then Jack said, Jack pays our bills. He's the bill payer in the household. And he said that he really needs a calendar to help him keep up with when things are due. And so I picked this up. I thought it was really nice and it goes through June of next year. Um, and then also our current mail mailing slash paperwork system is not working for us. So I picked up this that's a little bit bigger than what we currently have. It's got hooks on the bottom for keys. And so um, we're going to utilize this instead. And this is actually like a chalkboard. Speaking of organization, um, it's been a year since our basement collapsed and we had a filing system we kept all we stored all of our paperwork downstairs so um, we have not replaced anything uh, as far as a filing system so you can only imagine after a year what our situation is as far as the disorganization so I just grabbed this it wasn't that much there's five boxes. And so, um, I am going to start working on purging and organizing because things are just out of control right now. And it's about to make me lose my mind. So that is everything that I got at Meyer. Uh, that was $25. I feel like that was like maybe $15, something like that. Uh, that was seven, that was eight, I think, that was 11 something. So all in all, this was $88 of stuff right here. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Meyer. All right, I don't know if y'all can read my chicken scratch, but this is the meal plan for the week. 
Um, I might change things depending on if something comes up and I don't have as much time as I thought. Um, but this is pretty much what I'm gonna try to stick to. The end of this week is kind of up in the air because, because Emily is turning 20. Now, for those of you who have been with us for the last six years since we started YouTube, I know that you are just as shocked as I am. I am still in denial. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just roll with it and hopefully we'll get used to the idea because time marches on, you know? So yeah. Um, but we kind of sort of know what we want to do, but, um, I'm not sure what her work schedule is. I'm not sure what Jack's work schedule is. It's possible that we're not going to do anything until Monday, which is their, her day off and his day off. So anyway, it's just, it's just a little crazy. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Back to the, okay. So like I said, with that pork loin, I'm thinking I'm going to either cut it into pork chops and then maybe like bake them off in the oven, slather some barbecue sauce on them, you know, season them really well with some loot and booty rub, or I may put it in the crock pot, season it with loot and booty rub, put the barbecue sauce in there and just let it cook down that way. We'll see. We'll see how, how things pan out. Um, some glazed carrots. I have carrots in the fridge that I need to use up. Hash brown casserole with the frozen hash browns and green beans. And I'm going to be using the um, Cracker Barrel copycat recipe for the hash brown casserole. Um, another night we're going to do broccoli, chicken, and rice. That is what that says. I don't know why it looks. I don't. Anyway, I, can, I know what it says. <laughs> broccoli, chicken, and rice casserole and one of uh, the, the salad kit that I got. So that'll be another night. Um, white chicken enchiladas. My mother-in-law makes this. It's super good. Uh, you can make it from scratch. I'm not going to. I'm going to be using a can of the uh, cream of chicken soup. I know how to make uh, cream of chicken soup from scratch, but I'm not going to because I don't have the time. So that is what the green chilies are for, the tortillas. Um, I have some chicken that is frozen that I will use sour cream, the Monterey Jack cheese. I am very excited about these enchiladas, like super excited. Okay, um, and earlier this year we got a whole cow and so we have lots of roast. And so one night we are going to do roast carrots, potatoes, coleslaw, which is what that bagged coleslaw is for. And I put cornbread, but I'm probably gonna do corn muffins. Um, I just feel like, that would be better. So anyway, so that is the meal plan for the week. All right, you guys. So yeah, pretty much this week is, um, we're trying to get back into the swing of things now that Parker is back from camp. We do year, year round school, so he's got to get back uh, in his routine. Um, karate twice a week, church a few times a week. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get back into a routine. My work hours are picking up. I'm really enjoying my new job. You guys know I started a new job uh, back in, it was the end of March, I think. Um, and yeah, it's like, you know, when you're learning new things, it can be a little stressful, but I feel like now I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting it. And so it's very enjoyable. Um, I'm a mortgage loan processor. For those of you who don't know, I'm able to work from home, which is awesome. And, um, anyway, but yeah, so it's keeping me busy as of right now. We don't have, we're not harvesting anything from the garden yet. We're still trying to stay on top of the watering and the weeding. Um, and so, uh, I will share my last garden update down below. If you're new here and you didn't see it, uh, since I, we filmed that we were able to put cardboard and mulch down in the last rows that we were still waiting on doing. But yeah, right now this heat is like really stressing the plants out, which is stressing me out because I'm really, really depending on those to do well. And so we are just praying fervently that the Lord will bless us with some rain. So part of my routine, I, I need to get back into doing my fly lady routine. Um, but first things first, and even fly lady says this, is like you do not need to be worried about doing any deep cleaning until you have decluttered 
because all you're doing is shifting stuff around and it's not truly getting clean and it's really stressing me out. Like, and so um, it is time, it is, we are way overdue for a good purging and decluttering and organizing. So that is what I'm hoping to start working on this week. And first things first, because we have a hot spot that Fly Lady talks about on our counter, which is where things just collect. It's like where we naturally set things down. Um, and most of it is mail. And we go through it, we get rid of the junk mail, but stuff that's important, we have no place to put it because like I said, we have yet to, um, uh, we have yet to replace our filing system. So we just have a stack of important papers that we don't know what to do with. So that is what, that is the first thing I'm gonna work on. And then um, from there, I'll figure out what the next most important thing is. I know I need to go through my kitchen cabinets. Um, this cabinet, the one that is like, that won't close all the way is grocery bags and it drives me nuts drives me nuts. So I need to either pass those off off to somebody else or I need to take them to a recycling bin. I hate, hate, hate the idea of throwing them away. Even though I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily a tree hugger, <laughs> um, I definitely hate the idea of a whole bunch of garbage, uh, a whole bunch of uh, grocery sacks in the landfill just because they are so bulky. They take up so much space. And I know that they're, you know, and it takes forever for them to break down. So that is, I guess that's my, my one thing. Anyway, I'm rambling now. So um, anyway, I've got my dehydrator going. I've got herbs. So I guess I am harvesting something, just not a whole lot. But I've got herbs going in there. Um, anyway, so that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I already said that already. But until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. And we'll catch you all in the next one. God bless. Bye, guys.